Good evening, greetings from Terra City Mall in Antalya, Turkey. This is the um, the roof terrace, open till at least 10 p.m. I'm sure it has a different vibe as well during the day. Well, in the evening, looks like a good place for um, you to bring your young children in to come and play while they're here <laughs> get them nice and tired <laughs> so they could go to bed at least after 10 p.m. Table tennis. I've never seen this color before. Table tennis, ping pong. So what I intend to do this evening, oh the time is um 8:45 p.m. Today is the 11th of May. 2023 temperature this evening is probably around 18 degrees centigrade nice cool environment here um, climbing frame there for the young people let me go through this door and just take a picture of this um, signboard don't know where it's going to let me come back in come back out lies high says welcome to the jungle <laughs> welcome to the jungle so if you didn't want to go through the shopping mall and just want to come straight up you could take take the the lift from that side and come here you don't have to pay anything to come in here. Just come and vibe. Relax. And on this floor, there's a bowling alley. There is also a cinema. Just gonna go around this side, see whether there's anything else to see. Okay. 
them whether they brought their own football or whether the football was provided. I want to assume that they brought their own football. Places for friends to catch up. Just to catch up and um, spend some time together. The floor is nice and soft. Yeah, I think we've seen this from that side. And of course, there's... Um, vending machine if you want to buy some ice cream buy some candies for the kids yeah all good on this side okay you can't miss um terra city mall and as you can see some young people are relaxing it's the weekend, so it's either they are um, from this area or people visiting. I think that's a snooker table over there. Mm -hmm. See bowling happening here, and so forth, and and so on. Okay, it's a cinema, nice cinema up here. And then down to the next floor, we have the um, the eating area on that floor right there. Um, yeah, I'll take you through the eating area. I've, I've started from the top, as in, I started from the top floor and I walked my way down. Of course, I don't know where the presents. Ooh, trying to get that. That's a nice um, sushi. Um, do I need to introduce you to the food joints? No, you could actually just um, see the names and recognize the brand. So at least um, you won't go hungry. I hope you won't go hungry. Nice entry here. Get the name. Okay. Never heard of it. I'm sure it's good. Yeah. Burger King, KFC, and a few more joints. Lego here. Mm -hmm. So it's called um, Money Center. And if you want to change some money, 
or the money changes here as well. Couldn't buy a ticket to a movie. Could buy your tickets here. Or bowling. What else can I show? Okay, on this floor. We have ice cream. We have ice cream. If you need a SIM card, Toxin is a good one. Talking about um, SIM cards, um, just something that's been going around over the last few years, getting a bit more attention now, is record the other side it's buying an e-sim an electronic sim e-sim is called so instead of having a physical sim card you get given a qr code which you scan so you don't need to take out your sim card you don't need to unblock your phone most um cell phones mobile phones whatever you call it um, have um, the capability of using two SIMs, at least two, some even have three. With the eSIM card, you could actually have a number of eSIM cards. The only major difference is that you might not get a physical number, but you get your da data or data if you're in America. And you could make calls through the other platforms. WhatsApp, WeChat, um, Teams, whatever. And of course, you could surf the nets and everything. So you could do everything you could do before, apart from placing a call via your regular or your usual number. But if you have a WhatsApp, WhatsApp details, people can hook you up via WhatsApp. In fact, it's almost like using... Um, a Wi-Fi outside of the building or outside of the hotel or whatever so you just buy if you're in Turkey for say a week you buy about if you're a low user you buy about, about um, 5 gig of data gigabyte of data and you are so good to go surfing the net booking your taxis browsing around and of course, keeping in touch with your friends and family, wherever they are. It works in um, most countries. Um, I haven't used it in many countries, but at least I've used it in about five or six, and it works. Just to break it down, it works in Africa, it works in Europe, it works in America, it definitely works in Australia um, and now I'm using it in Turkey and it works in Turkey so that's a bit of um, a digression we're still doing the um, window shopping at um, where are we now Terra City Shopping Mall yeah so if you need an eSIM card just get one. Oh yeah by the way, it's cheaper to get it before you leave your country. I'm based in London, UK. And for most countries in the world, the eSIM cards are very reasonable. I'm not going to do an advert for anybody, but um, just Google it. eSIM. Give me a thumbs up if you, if you find anything. It works. It works and it works very well. So you still maintain your existing SIM card. You don't even need to take it out of the phone. You just switch your mobile settings to the eSIM card, which will be sent to you by a QR code almost instantly. And yeah, you could then hook up and carry on reaching people across the globe. There your data package
Okay, leaving this level. I've done a quick tour. And now we're going down to the next room. Like I said I'm doing this from top to bottom, so um, I'll cover a few floors. I might cover everything, depends. But, um, my intention is just to give you an idea of what they have here. So that when you do come to visit, or when you're here and you come during summer and it's very hot, you might just decide to um, keep cool inside the shopping mall. All the usual brands are available. The exchange rate is um, quite favorable for those who don't live in Turkey. But what I found out is that um, the, um, the shops, the restaurants, have also um, adjusted their prices to deal with the exchange rate. So where you would have got something before for say 40 or 400 lira, you come now, you find out that it's um, 600 lira. So the prices are at least in the city centers, are, are quite similar to that that we find in other European countries or European countries or United States. Yeah. Interesting fact. However, you do find some things which are because of the exchange rates and because they don't have or not allowed to hike their prices like other people can, you find some things are, how do I put it? The prices are flat. They can't increase the prices to cope with them, tourists. Let me give you an example. I've been taking Uber rides for between 60 and 100 um, Turkish lira. 60. Um, as that today's exchange rate to the pound, GBP currency, is pound fifty. You've entered, an, so in other words, I've just taken an Uber for pound fifty pence. When I paid 100, it was roughly about £2.50, £2.46 or thereabout. And in UK, you can't save on them. I'm sure the minimum, minimum price would be at least £5. So just take me to, to the front of the house. From the <laughs> so, so those kind of prices are have remained the same or have not been increased in line with the rate of inflation. But shops like this, you find out that the price we would have paid abroad is similar to what we would have paid here. So yes, you end up carrying a load of cash or use your card. Um, you still end up paying Roughly what you would have paid before the price fluctuation took place. Even as we speak, the prices are still changing. You change your money at 9 o'clock, or then go back at 10 o'clock, go back at 12 o'clock, go back at midday. You get a picture. And the prices have changed at least four, six times within the same day. Lovely, some lovely snacks here. And of course, Turkish delights if you want some. 
Brooks Brothers are here. Where are you? Brooks Brothers. And we also have the UK Evergreen Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencer. I'm sure I've always called it Marks and Spencers. Um, no, it's Marks and Spencer. Okay. Interesting. Okay, you get the picture. I think there's still another three floors. But um, what I will do is I'll just take a picture of the floors. The video of the floors. The whole idea is just to give an impression of what is available here. So looking forward to seeing you in Antalya, Turkey soon don't wait until the weather becomes too hot i'm here in may and the the average temperature is 26 28 degrees so yeah come soon thank you okay just gonna speed it up and what i might do for the next few floors is just to um go to the escalator <coughs> and whatever we could pick up as we go along that will be it I would say you could spend um, maybe two to three hours here Like I said, if the weather's not good outside, you could um, stay even longer. Starbucks. Oh, I've seen one already, so that's the second one. There's also Gap here, for those who love Gap. Okay, like I said, there's quite a few shops here, and um, yeah, brand names, designer products. Ooh, Armani, Mango, Swatch. Paul and Shaq. Yeah, pop in, guess, they don't have, there's guess here, <laughs> so, um, of course there's no to see, Tom Hill figure, boss, Blue Mint. I don't need to spell it out. I'll let you enjoy the view.
Thank you for staying tuned to Absolute Travel Adventures. Absolute Travel Adventures is my YouTube handle. Once again, we are in Antalya, Turkey. Just spending a week here and enjoying the, the lovely summer. Um, yeah, came in to do something else. There's so many things you could do in Turkey. And no, I'm not having a facelift. But tell um, me if that's what floats your boat, or if that's what is required, please feel free to check it out. The quality of service is, is quite beautiful here. Well, at least a few places I've been to, the service has been great. Hospitality is great. People are friendly. So this um, this place even has a supermarket. Okay.